majestic heir of ancient Egypt Pharaoh, the powerful ruler of the land, found himself disturbed by perplexing dreams that disrupted his sleep. Night after night, these visions left him uneasy and unsettled. With the dawn's first light casting its glow upon the palace, Pharaoh sought answers from his wise men and seers, expecting them to decipher the enigmatic dreams haunting him. However, the cryptic nature of these dreams proved beyond the comprehension of even his most esteemed advisors. News of Pharaoh's predicament reached the depths of the prison where Joseph, a Hebrew captive known for his unique gift of dream interpretation, was confined. Summoned from the shadows, Joseph stood before Pharaoh, a man whose fate had become intertwined with the ruler's restless nights. Pharaoh, with a troubled expression and a sense of urgency, detailed the dreams that had created a web of uncertainty in his mind. Seven robust, well-fed cows devoured by seven emaciated, malnourished cows. Seven healthy ears of grain consumed by seven withered, dried-up ears. Joseph, guided by divine inspiration, interpreted the dreams with a clarity that surpassed human understanding. The abundance of the fat cows and plump grain signified seven years of prosperity, followed by seven years of severe famine, where the thin cows and shriveled grain would dominate. As Joseph unveiled the revelation, a hushed awe fell upon the court. Recognizing the gravity of the message, Pharaoh understood the urgency to prepare for the impending hardship. Impressed by Joseph's wisdom, he elevated him to a position of prominence, entrusting him with the crucial task of overseeing preparations for the coming years of scarcity. I'm sorry, Pharaoh. But unless you plan ahead and save props from the years of plenty, Egypt will not survive. Pharaoh will not like that me. You know? Can we find anyone else like this man? So obviously filled with the Spirit of God. As your God told these things to you, Joseph, I can think of no one wiser to appoint as manager. You will oversee the harvests and set aside crops for the years of famine. You will be my governor, second in Egypt only to me. All must obey you. The dreams that once troubled Pharaoh's nights became the catalyst for Egypt's salvation, and Joseph, the interpreter of dreams, rose from the shadows of imprisonment to stand beside the ruler himself. The story of Pharaoh's dreams, embedded as a testament to the intricate interplay between destiny, interpretation, and the unforeseen twists of providence.